A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to your, uh, well, perhaps daily update on Blur. I've covered this daily since its, uh, since its launch, I think three, four days ago. Uh, but we have to cover it again today. We reached all of our price targets and we've even gone higher up towards that 1.35, 1.4 level. Um, Blur has been very, very bullish. Both the, both the token, but also the NFT marketplace has been doing very, very well. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Um, and then mainly about what, what the token can do. Um, but apart from that, there are also some things I wanted to show you about the volume, which worry me a little bit and, um, and just in general about Blur. Uh, so let's get right into it right now blur 700 million dollars uh, in volume again which is absolutely crazy especially compared to the market cap market cap at around um, 500 million i'm not sure i mean perhaps that's even uh, a fair value it might seem like a lot for a newly launched token but blur right now i mean if hopefully i can look that up very quickly i'm not actually sure if i can um, but um, but i think it's like um, i think in volume Oh, no, that's not it. I think in volume, it's uh, it's pretty equal uh, to OpenSea right now. You can see it here. Uh, yeah, it's even way more than OpenSea. Yesterday, what we also saw is that OpenSea uh, proposed a $0 fees uh, campaign temporarily, trying to get some people back. But Blur is really trying to take the take over that, uh, that first position of OpenSea. And perhaps that's great for the market because perhaps that's also pushing OpenSea towards introducing their own token and doing their their um, uh, airdrop. So I think it's bullish for the market and it's obviously great for 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 Blur. Um, in trades, they ha don't have the biggest market share, but it's all about volume, of course, uh, in the uh, in the NFT marketplace sector. Um, so yeah, Blur has been very very bullish yesterday, and we're analyzing for the first time on the one hour time frame, by the way, and we can finally do that after its launch on Wednesday. So what I said yesterday is that, um, I, th I think yesterday we were struggling with this level around 1.15. Uh, and what I said is that, well, we just need to break above 1.18 and then we'll get up to 1.25. And I think I said that I thought it was mo most likely that we would get up to 1.25. Um, I know most of you have, uh, or some of you have watched the video from yesterday as well. Pretty sure I said that, uh, but please make sure to confirm in the comments for the new viewers. Um, but what I did not expect, I thought we would get up to 1.25 and actually find some more resistance there. Uh, since 1.25 is a psychological resistance level, uh, 0.25 level. Uh, but it also had the 1.618. So we did find resistance there. And it could have been a great short trade. Um, but in the end, we actually held our previous resistance level around 1.15. And we managed to break above 1.25 earlier this night. And now, as you can see... We even have found support at 1.25. And the big question is, is can we get to that almighty 1.5 level? A major psychological resistance level also houses the 2.618. This is going to be a, a strong resistance level. Now, can we get there though? That's a, that's, a, that's a good question and a difficult one. Right now, Blur, even though I think the value is, is pretty, pretty accurate, uh, to be honest, there's quite a lot of volume coming from sources which I don't like. BitUbu, OKX is fine, but it's, it's quite a lot of money. Uh, Upbit, I don't like, DigiPhoenix, DeepCoin, I, I don't like those sources very much. Historically, uh, what I've seen is that if there's uh, proportionally a lot of volume coming from those exchanges, there's manipulation going on. And with a crypto moving like this, and we cannot really see <laughs> see that, uh, but a crypto moving like this, I mean, we, we've gone up since Tuesday, the 14th, uh, we've gone up from 60 cents to 1.3. 100% increase in a matter of a couple of days. So there's probably some manipulation going on, uh, which isn't great, but we have to just take that into account. All right, so most cryptos have some sort of manipulation. So right now, the big thing is, as you can see that we're, we're, we found support at 1.25. I think we're going up to that 1.35, 1.4 level again. But from there, it's, it's really about the, the touch we get there because we have to stay on top of 1.25. If from that resistance, we drop down below 1.25, then we're going to fall, all right? At least down to like 1.1. And then from there, we'll see again, it's a strong support level. Um, but it's all about 1.25. It's about holding the resistance levels you broke through, uh, which are now support. So the big thing is, is if we can actually stay in this level, I'd say for the next like 24 hours, 
I think it's strong enough to also break above 1.4 and get up to 1.5. Uh, but it's really about the uh, about the touch we'll get today off of that 1.35 resistance level and whether from that resistance we get we can actually still hold 1.25 or whether that's going to push us down below 1.25 and therefore um, 1.35 and 1.4 will be our local top for at least a while um, so yeah that's my full analysis on blur hopefully you understand it still perhaps it was a little bit difficult let me know if you have questions uh, but for now enjoy the last day of your weekend take care and bye